Good morning, this is Pietrus Vivius, 26 April 2019, recording from the slipway at St. Lucia Estuary. This video is about the estuary not functioning anymore. On this Google view we can clearly see how the estuary mouth has been cemented shut with the old dredger spoils. It's not a secret. White mangrove, mangrove trees is an integral part of a functioning estuary. The root system is housed to small critters like gobies, fiddler crabs, mangrove whelks. I think all, that's, all those species are extinct now in the St. Lucia estuary system. Fiddler crabs was one of the main attractions for ecotourists right from the 70s up till 1999 when we were declared the World Heritage Site and foreign tourism became the most important aspect of the management, the business plan of the Isimangaliso Wetland Park Authority management team. Like coral reefs, mangrove forests are extremely productive ecosystems that provide numerous goods and services both the marine environment and people. This makes mangrove forests vitally important to coral reefs and commercial fisheries as well. The boardwalk at St. Lucia Estuary Mouth it was built somewhere in the early 90s by the Natal Parks Board Honorary Offices to attract a different form of tourism. In the late 70s and 80s, recreational fishermen was the cornerstone of the economy of St. Lucia, the town and the region, all the way from Apelon to Cozy Bay. But there was people that felt that ecotourism has got a place and they started by building this broad boardwalk with funds they raised uh, publicly through events they organized, donations they got. Here we're looking at the Ricky Taylor's plan to create water reservoirs to help with the scouring effect. Now that is also some of the dredger spoils that um, when they built the North Pier. It was a hard surface all the way from about the ski boat club to the mouth entrance. Uh, very much similar to the one at Cowie River, which I will refer to now in the video. Now look, let's look at the left hand side of the estuary on our screen, or the western side. Southern first, until honeymoon bend, then turn right and becomes the western side. Those are basically all dredger spoils, or sediment build up, some sediment build up, some dredger spoils. If you look at the honeymoon bend, there's a channel leading in. If you go with that channel, you cross the R618 at the bridge and do you see where the channel leads into the estuary. That used to be used as a tidal channel to catch water, so when the tide goes out, that the water accelerates and takes the sediment with it to the ocean. Right guys, that concludes this video for today. Next week I'll make one of Port Alfred and the river Kaui River and the successes, the fishes, breedings, the scouring effect and the people enjoying nature. Thank you for watching. Please share. God bless. Goodbye.